the Jesuits taught you high school, college, Holy Cross, right. Regis High School in Manhattan. What what impact? What does it mean to be taught by Jesuits? We hear about Jesuits all the time. Well, it's uh, it, it's it's a great experience. I have to say, they combine um, intense intellectualism with uh, discipline, not in the sense of you know smacking you around, but intellectual rigor, discipline in how you handle yourself as a person, as a human being, and they have a a general motto of, and I think this had a major influence on me and what I did, is the issue of service to others. That's very big. That doesn't mean that people who don't go into public service are doing anything lesser with their lives, but they tend to have a, a, a I wouldn't say a pushing, but a leaning towards something about what you do is public service. Either everything you do which turned out what I did by going into public service, or at least a part of your life. So it was a it was an interesting combination of concern for mankind, as well as a good intellectual rigor. When did you want to be a doctor? Can you remember the time? I think it was early high school. I, I I'm very interested in people. I'm a very much of a people person, and probably as part of the Jesuit training, which was very steeped in the classics and the humanities. So when I went to Regis High School, we took four years of Greek, four years of Latin, a Romance language and ancient history and things like that. When I went to Holy Cross, which is another Jesuit school as a college, um, I took kind of a hybrid pre-med course. It was called, it's almost an oxymoron, it was called AB Greek Classics Dash Pre-Med. So you were majoring in the humanities and the classics with a lot of philosophy, but you took enough science to get into medical school. And the idea about when I wanted to become a doctor, I like science, I like discovery, I like the uh, challenges of science, but I also so much liked mankind and the humanities that it was just a natural fit that where do you put science and people in the same bucket? And to me, that was medicine. Who was an early mentor? Um, probably some of the very young uh, Jesuits in um, Regis High School. In the Jesuit training, it's a long, long training before you become a Jesuit priest. And back then, they were, had what's called scholastics, with people who weren't yet ordained as priests, but they dressed with the garb of a priest and they taught in in the high school and there were a couple of those scholastics who had a, a major impact on me just great people highly intellectual and highly nurturing of you and what you wanted to do